Good afternoon. My name is Helmut Greiner in SECOP. I am responsible uh, to fulfill customer requirements of medical customers. I'm honored to present my colleague, our electronic expert, Mark Fischer, who will, in cooperation with me, explain and present our newest baby, one of our uh, newborn babies uh, of our products. Um, we have 20 years ago started to introduce the first STD solar direct drive compressor uh, requested uh, via World Health Organization and some donators who were willing to donate for the lowest income countries in Africa, India, solar driven, direct driven appliances to set up a medical vaccine cold chain. It was well implemented on the market over the last 20 years with several hundred thousand pieces of appliances out there on the market. But after 20 years, uh, there was the request from WHO, from NGOs uh, to develop a new product that is going beyond this. And that had five main requirements on top of the existing products. The first one is to further reduce the downtime of the appliances. Uh, clear vaccine based vaccines are expensive and they only save lives if they are effective, if they are kept cool all along the transport and the storage in these countries where very often there is no grid or very low grid or a temporary grid um, available. Then one more si uh, requirement was to deliver a universal system for off-grid, low-grid, medium-grid and on-grid solutions because it was very often a problem in these countries to handle very different systems. So we have one solution that works everywhere. And then WHO requested in the new EMS specs that every 15 minutes the temperature of the appliance and also compressor data like voltage, current, uh, power supply are averaged and every 15 minutes transferred to a cloud to be able to monitor if these donated appliances in Rwanda, in Zimbabwe, wherever are running smoothly. And finally, to reduce the complexity of very different systems and to reduce the number of components and the total cost of ownership. Plus, to change to the most efficient, energy efficient system and for sure to natural hydrocarbon solutions, R600 in this case. Uh, the solution, now, my colleague Mark Fischer will present step by step all the features that we have implemented in this compressor, compressor inverter and the full power management solution. So what we had in mind already when they asked us to provide a compressor and a solution to run on solar direct drive was a compressor with R600A. The DC product lineup needed a refresher anyway and we were developing a tinier a compressor in the size of an apple or of a fist. So what we did is we stand on the shoulders of the tiny giant of the BD Nano, a compressor with 100 watts in the size of my left hand. And we added a power supply, the one on the left side here, that runs AC all across the globe from any power source and runs on PV on any power supply that you basically provided. So. In the first step to look in the solar direct drive, we have the priorities that the WHO committed to us. That is, keep the vaccines cold in any condition. If you have power, you should run the refrigerator. What we never should do is freeze, refriger freeze the uh, vaccines, because if you freeze the vaccines, they are ba basically worthless or can get even dangerous and could potentially kill the people. In the priority second is, 
that we use PV energy because the grids in the third world countries are heavily loaded and can collapse under the load of a refrigerator. So if PV is available, use the PV power. And the priority three is to follow, of course, the official requirements for the monitoring system. So they have their PQS catalog that states exactly what is demanded from the suppliers for the refrigerators. And we have to, of course, support them and provide them with the data that we accumulate from the compressor anyway. So on the AC input for our refrigerator or for our compressor, we have a weak grid protection up to 510 volts. Basically, the compressor can operate between 80 and 260 volts with any, uh, with any hertz. So between 45 and 60 hertz, the compressor will operate. That is everywhere on the globe that is running on generators, on diesel generators, on fuel generators. And we have that grid protection above. So if the grid spikes and the grid spikes in the third world countries, when the factory next door releases some energy, you get a spike up to 500 volts. Our compressor can withstand that infinitely. So, yeah, as mentioned, basically, we uh, have the electronic protection. We uh, have an inverter next to our compressor that runs on 24 volts anyways. We can provide up to 120 watt of cooling. We have output for additional auxiliary. So WHO demands to have a data logger that logs the data that we provide. We, of course, need to power that data logger from the PV or the AC that we get. And we are currently in the process of certifying our product already according to the PQS catalog. So you can use the product, put it in the refrigerator and make any refrigerator that uses the BD Nano a medical refrigerator. On the solar direct drive side, that is the second input highlighted with the solar panel, we run MPPT. So we track where's the maximum power point. We run as efficient as possible and with the most energy that the solar can provide. What we additionally can do is switch out the source automatically. We, uh, depending on if enough solar is available, we switch from AC to PV. If not enough solar is available, we switch back to AC, if AC is available at all. The DC is optimized for PV panels. All latest gen PV panels are supported up to 52 cells. So also everything that is currently on the market can be used to supply our compressor directly. To dive more in the MPPT algorithm, we run maximum power point tracking and try to improve the compressor speed depending on how many sun is available. So the more sun that is available, the faster the compressor runs, the less sun that is available, the slower the compressor runs. You can basically say we switch in three, uh, three methods. In the shaded sun, we try to run as fast as possible. In the full sun, we run as fast as possible. And in the covered sun in the evenings, we try to keep the compressor as long as possible alive to get the most cooling we can get from PV energy. On the communication interfaces, we keep it simple. We use automotive standard LIN because that is a single chip. And we use standard Modbus communication because that is easy to implement. We uh, have a compatibility already with our tool for cool. So in your lab, you can already use the existing PC software tool for cool. And our mobile phone app tool for cool is also ready for the STD. To look a bit further in the tiny giant in the BD Nano, the inverter has a fan output that provides additional cooling for the condenser. Additionally, you can put the NTC into your system for a thermostat input. The BD Nano inverter here is optimized for running on solar panels. There's quite a difference. We, we operate usually on batteries for trucks and for cars. And truck and car batteries have basically infinite energy they can provide when you need to start the car or a truck or a compressor. A PV panel is different. The PV panel cannot provide infinite energy. The PV panel is basically controlling how much energy you can use. So we have developed the algorithm that can start on PV panel and regulates depending on the load of the, comp of the compressor and on the availability of the sun power, how good the compressor will start. So in any light condition, the compressor shall be able to start with that new algorithm. 
Yeah, we have a fan output that can be controlled automatically and intelligently depending on the compressor speed. And we have the possibility to use both the NTC resistor for thermostat controlling or a mechanical thermostat. In the full package, we have the power management module on the left. We have the inverter or controller with the uh, special code and the special algorithm for solar direct drive operation. And we have a medical version of our BD Nano compressor. And that is basically available now. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Uh, I would like briefly to conclude. Uh, in the first slide, I showed you the requirements that we were asked to fulfill by WHO and the uh, NGOs who uh, donate these products. In the end, Mark has explained everything in detail. We gain from a brand new compressor development that luckily we got not just for this product uh, project, but we developed for years and is available right now and is integrated in this package with the inverter and this power management system that in the end can, as you have seen, uh, from two to six hours per day, gain additional sun radiation and makes the products and shifts it on a different level uh, of availability for cold chain for these medical products. The reduced number of appliances variants is uh, given by all this small, medium and big size of low, medium and on-grid appliances that were in the past uh, more than 12 different variants could be done with one system. So it's a, a big advantage in this supply chain, in all the maintenance service, field service, and also all the logistics. Uh, the WHO QS uh, compliance, sending all this data to monitor via cloud centrally if these appliances are smoothly running and keeping and maintaining the uh, cold chain is established. The fourth target was to reduce complexity and total cost of ownership. And I think here is quite impressive that we have reduced from four to one panel, 75% amount of panels, 50% of uh, area of PV area 66% of installation cost because PVs also need to be fixed and installed somewhere that we don't need an AC-DC converter anymore because it's integrated and with the strongest voltage stabilizer pre-qualified from WHO. And so customers save uh, project time because it's already pre-qualified from our side. Yeah. And in the end, we have a shorter go to market at customer side. Plus in the end, uh, coming from the compressor, R600 as a natural low GWP refrigerant with highest efficiency uh, is contributing to the full package. Our feedback from WHO, from the NGOs were very positive. The NGOs were part of this, even funded this project with a significant and remarkable amount of money. Otherwise, it would have been uh, difficult to run it in our company. And uh, I kindly invite you, if you have any questions or want to see this not just on paper, please come to our booth, this hall, 7A, booth 228. There we have the compressor, the electronic, a full appliance working there where you can see it makes cold. It's running smoothly and you, we are available for further questions the compressor, electronics, and the full system. Thank you very much. If you have urgent questions, we are also free and have still a few minutes to answer here before the next presentation. Thank you.